So I posted a video a couple of weeks back about some alternative launchers that I thought worked pretty well with the Pixel Fold. Now one launcher in particular was left off of that list because I assumed that much like it did for the Z Fold the last time I tested it, all this launcher would do when moving between the cover display to the inner display would be stretch things out. And of course, when we look at launchers that do that, launchers like the Microsoft launcher, that makes for a very, very poor experience. You get the cover display looking the way you want, but then you open it up and it stretches things out and it looks absolutely terrible. Since then, I've gotten some comments from people saying, actually, Shane, no, Nova Launcher handles this pretty darn well. So I went ahead and installed it. And of course, I've got my Prime thing installed as well. I've got my companion APK for the Google feed there on the left all installed. And I am pleased to report to you guys that is absolutely the case. Nova Launcher works really quite well on the Pixel Fold. I'm going to show you kind of how it works, what's going on, a couple of downsides, and we're going to go from there. So this is the home screen that I set up on my Pixel Fold. Now what we're going to need to do here is we're going to go into the settings and we're going to set it to default just for this video to make sure everything goes well. And you can see here, this looks pretty similar. I've got my little search bar down here at the bottom. I have my uh, six favorite apps, some folders, some widgets, Everything's looking pretty good. And of course, with Nova Launcher, a big benefit is that you can really customize everything about it to a pretty darn impressive degree. You can change how that search looks. You can change how your gestures work. I like having a swipe down actually being a search and weird like that, but you can make it be whatever you want it to do. And swipe up to get to the app drawer extremely customizable. There's supposed to be a Google feed there to the left, but there appears to be something kind of wrong with that. If it's working here, it's not working in my other launcher. Let's see if I can make this thing work here. Let's maybe we can toggle it back and forth. Is it working now? No, for some reason that's not working. That may be a little bit finicky. It was working earlier. I switched back to the default launcher and it wasn't working in the default launcher then. I switched back to this and now it's not working here. You may be able to mess around with that and get that uh, integration working correctly. You can see here that it knows that it's there. Let's try restarting it. Still not working. Okay, whatever. But I said that it worked well even on the inner screen. So let's go ahead and open that up and I'll show you what happens. Of course, with the stock launcher, what happens is you basically have two pages, a page here and a page here, and they just sit side by side. Well, on this thing, you stick with that one page that you had but it blows it up and it puts the apps that were on the bottom here on the side and it also puts your search bar here on the side. Now this of course means you can have widgets spanning across the middle of the screen. You can do whatever you want in terms of widgets and pages. You could add an additional page over here that would allow you to throw whatever widgets and things like that you want over there. And of course, there you go, you can scroll back and forth over to that widget just fine. Now one problem I was having was with this weather widget, which it's a little bit weird on the stock launcher also, but sometimes when I go back and forth, first off, you see how it's changing shape and that's whatever, but sometimes when I move back and forth between it, it just got a little bit weird looking. I've also noticed that it's difficult to get your icons quite the way I want them. These seem a little bit small to me in particular, uh, these here, they're a little bit spaced out. I could add a fifth one in there, but whatever. I'd like to make them a little bit bigger. But then if I did that, when I go to this screen, see how much larger they are. They will be even larger because there's only one setting. I think I found a decently happy medium if I go back to my home screen. I went to 120%, I think 125 was by default. If I go lower, if I go to 115, what happens is these widgets, like I was mentioning, get a little bit weird. Let's see if I triggered that again. Yeah, so now this widget is messed up. So you can't really go too crazy with some of these settings. You need to leave this at 120, and that seems to let the widgets and everything live more happily, in particular, this weather widget. So I do want to talk about one downside, though, to the way that this launcher handles this device. It does see the cover display and the inner display as two different displays. However, it binds them both to the same grid. I'm using 5x4 now. 5x4 makes sense on the cover display, makes less sense here. Yes, I can have widgets going across the middle of the screen because it sees it as one screen, but again, I'm now restricted to a single 5x4 layout. If we look at the stock launcher, that is not the case. I'm using a 5x5 grid, but 
it's two five by five grids, right? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, the widget's in the way. And then over here, there's another five by five grid. So because of this, I'm able to just fit so much more stuff onto the screen because again, it's seen this as two separate screens. Some people don't like this, but to me, this means I'm basically getting two screens worth of widgets and things on this inner display. Now for me, perhaps the biggest drawback is how this works or maybe doesn't work with your little swipe up taskbar. You see these apps down here, these are still tied to the default launcher. So if you wanna change what apps are on this bar, you're gonna to have to go to the default launcher and change them there. Once you've done that, if you've got a setup that you just really like, you're fine at that point. You can leave it alone and then whatever application you happen to be in, that taskbar is going to be there working exactly as it was before. But again, you can't customize it in this launcher. Now, I know some of you are probably going to say, Shane, I already knew about this, but either I didn't know about it or I had forgotten about it or something. So here it is. I'm presenting it to you guys so that now you definitely know. And if you were a big fan of Nova Launcher or maybe you just don't like the default Pixel Launcher, you have this option to try. It does work much better than I expected. Even if I am probably, I would say definitely going to go back to the default launcher for some of the reasons I mentioned earlier on in the video. It is a solid alternative. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, stay nerdy.